Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with propositional logic, looking at associativity. As with commutativity, associativity is a property of mathematics as well as logic. So if you remember back to your middle school math, you're going to be helped out here. Let's take a look at some examples. So, to measure temperature, you can use Kelvin or either Fahrenheit or Celsius. Therefore, to measure temperature, you can either use Kelvin or Fahrenheit or Celsius. Those may have seemed the same, but when we take a look at the truth tables, we're going to understand these subtle differences. A number is zero, or it is either positive or negative. Therefore, either a number is zero or positive, or it is negative. The speech was engaging and both inspirational and enlightening. Therefore, the speech was both engaging and inspirational, as well as enlightening. The building was made of both brick and mortar, as well as wood. Therefore, the building was made of brick and both mortar and wood. Let's take a look at the truth table to make some more sense of this. So the key with these is it's just a movement of the parentheses. We're not changing the order like in commutativity. We are keeping the order and moving the parentheses. Here's the example with conjunction. We fill in our truth tables below. And we see that the only time they are all true is that top row everywhere else their fault. So they match, so it's replaceable. If we do it with disjunction, we find the same thing, but in this case, the only time they're false is the last row, but the point is that they are the same truth table for each of these premises, so we can replace them sal veritate. That was associativity. We're going to represent that with A-S-S-O-C, probably because we don't want to write something shorter like ass. Next up is distribution, double negation, and many more. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.